Hey guys, it's Lexi. I'm gonna be showing y'all three really easy braided hairstyles. You can do these in less than five minutes before work or school or wherever you're going. All you're gonna need is a few bobby pins and maybe some elastics. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. If you don't know how to subscribe, I'll tell y'all really, really fast. You have to create a Gmail account and if you're on a computer, you can click this red button, but if you're on your phone or a tablet, you can click down below and it says subscribe, like right below the video. I would really, really, really appreciate it. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first I'm gonna start by doing a headband French braid. I've washed my hair like two or three days ago. I'm not gonna put any product in it. I'm gonna use a little hairspray for the second style. So really, these are like super, super, super easy. Take my hair and I turn it to the side just so it's easier to braid. If you know how to French braid, you can do this French braid. So I take, I leave like all this hair out and turn this all to the side. And just get it to where you can see it but the best. So take three sections like you would a regular French braid. Now you're just going to start. I'm stopping about an inch from the top of my ear. I'm gonna braid down a little bit. And then I'm gonna tuck it underneath. If you have an elastic, you can tie an elastic around this and then bobby pin it. I cannot find mine, so I'm not using mine. And I'm crisscrossing my bobby pins in an X on top of each other so that it stays super secure. And I have thick hair, so I like to take this chunk from the braid and bobby pin it down a little bit more so I don't have like an awkward chunk of hair. Now you can take your braid and start pulling it out so it's not so tight. This will give you more volume and make it look a little, oopsies. So if you pull too much hair like that, don't worry, you don't have to redo it. Just kind of tuck it back in. And if you need to, you can take this bobby pin Okay, there you go. Super easy. Okay, so the next hairstyle I'm going to show y'all is a parted down the center, two braids to the side. Okay, so I'm gonna take my finger. If that doesn't work for you, you can also take a bobby pin and section your hair. My hair does not naturally part down the middle, so it kind of does this weird little poof thing. So I'm gonna take some hairspray, and kind of spray the section down, and then bobby pin it while I do this section first. Okay, so I'm going to take three sections, like I do a normal braid. I'm gonna pull hair from the top, but not the bottom. Even if you don't know how to French braid, you can still do this style. So three pieces, like a regular braid. I'm gonna take hair from this top section and pull it into the braid.
So I really just did like three pieces in there. I'm going to secure it with a bobby pin. If you have an elastic, that would work a little bit better. I'm gonna put one on, put two on both sides. Okay, now I'm gonna take it. Anytime I braid my hair, I always pull it apart just because I feel like it looks a little better. And it's good for people that have finer hair because it not makes their braid look a lot thicker and a little bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there. Now I'm gonna move on to this side. Okay, now I'm gonna take this hair back here and pull it forward. Then I'm gonna take this, pin it. I'm gonna use the bobby pins that I already used. Now since this section is always going to be kind of weird because I don't part over here, I'm going to take a bobby pin and secure it down. I think a lot of times people get frustrated with stuff like this that they've never done before because the first time they try to do it, it doesn't go completely perfect. It doesn't go completely perfect for people that you think know how to do their hair well either. You just learn how to play with it and to make it work for you. I don't like redoing my hair a bajillion times, especially not for something that's supposed to be less than five minutes. Okay, so now that that's securely pushed down, I'm gonna spray my little broken baby sad hairs down. And then I'm gonna start pulling Again, don't pull too hard. I tend to do that. I'm like really, really heavy handed. And give yourself some volume. Back here, if you have flatter hair and you like a lot more volume in the back, pretend this is texture spray. You can use hairspray, but texture spray would work better. You can spray under. And you could even tease it a little bit if you wanted to. I don't like that style on myself, so I'm not gonna do that. Okay, there you go. Okay, so the next hairstyle is even easier. It's just one little braid. It's not even a French braid. Okay, so I'm gonna part my hair back to the side. Okay, so I'm gonna leave out my bang area. I would advise, I don't really even have bangs as you can tell, but I would advise y'all to do the same. Leave out a section right here. I'm gonna take this top triangle-ish section. And I'm gonna loosely braid it. Just a regular braid. And as you can see, I'm not doing this kind of a braid. It's 
super, super loose. And I'm gonna take two bobby pins. gonna make it a little I'm rubbing it so that it gets that really messy look okay so it's like a really flat messy braid I'm just gonna take it Loosely place it to the side. Okay, so this side, I like to tuck my hair behind your, my ear. If your hair is longer and you don't like to do that, you can leave it. I think that it will look, it'll just give it a different look. You take this piece and I kind of twist it a little bit and pin it super tight to your head. This is also kind of a fun and different like special occasion type hairstyle. So that way you have the volume in the back but then it's flat against your ear and it'll look really pretty if you had some statement earrings or I don't know I just really like it so I'm gonna pin it so that's it that's how easy it is you take some hairspray spray the suction flap and you can't even really tell that it's a braid it just kind of makes it more textured looking and just a little bit different than your everyday hairstyle. So I hope you guys liked all these super easy, quick braided hairstyles. Don't forget to subscribe and like down below. I will post new videos every Tuesday and we'll see you next week for a new tutorial. Bye.